Hey guys, welcome back. So today, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I keep warm in an unfinished basement. Now, um, I made an un an unfinished basement tour. I think it was one of my first videos. So you can check that out and kind of get like a more overview of what it's like living in an unfinished basement. But during the winter down here, it gets really, really cold. Um, and it's kind of hard to stay warm when you can't have a heater that doesn't just, the heat doesn't just escape into the walls. Um, so I'm just going to explain to you how I get warm and give you guys kind of like a little tour of it. So here we go. Okay, so if you've seen my basement tour, you kind of already know the layout. Excuse the mess. This guy right here is destroying his toy. Um, but like, so if you've seen my other video, you kind of know the layout. This is typically like where we hang out. Um, it's the part that doesn't, you know, stay warm. The insulation all isn't finished. As you can see, you know, it's not, it's just a piece of um, plastic sheeting. And then it's literally out the wall that gives this thin and then the outside and then the ceiling, there's no insulation at all. So I can't just put a heater in here because everything would just go upstairs and make the upstairs hot and not down here. So it's unfortunate because this is where I spend most of my time um, editing or just hanging out watching TV or cooking dinner and then sitting on the couch eating it. And then I also stream over here and film some of my videos. I work out. Basically, I spend majority of my time here. So it's very unfortunate that I can't keep this hot. Um, and it, most of the time it's pretty cold, but I just opened this, but normally it's closed. I usually hang out in here if I'm really, really cold because as you can see, the walls are finished and there is insulation. So what I do to keep warm, because even though these walls are finished and even though there's insulation and um, the ceiling's finished and all of that, it's still really, really cold down here if I don't take means to make it warm. So what I do is I have a heating blank or a heating blanket here and I need to get a better one because we accidentally got the full size even though we have a queen bed. So the heat, like you can kind of see the wiring, doesn't actually start till here so all of this is not heated. So I need to get a one that actually fits the bed. Um, but it does fine for right now. Like it's, I just turned it on right now because I'm actually going to come in here in a little bit. And I don't know why it's tweaking out. There we go. So I just turned it on because I'm gonna come in here because it's actually really cold um, outside. And so then over here, um, I have a little heater too. And I used to use this one over here. It's like one of those fake fireplaces. It would light up and it looked like logs were burning. But we've had this since, I don't know, I think we've had this for about four years and now it's starting to die. Like the heating thing doesn't even turn, um, the fake fireplace doesn't even turn on anymore and it's not emitting as much heat as it used to. So it's just like, it's not doing anything anymore. So we just leave it off. We don't keep it on anymore. Just kind of use it as a little stand because it is cosmetically, you know, appealing. So we just use this now and it, it we blast it uh, to 80, but it doesn't actually ever get to 80. It gets pretty close, but not quite. And then I just leave all the doors closed. So like this bed, this bathroom door, I leave closed. And then I did have this, but I just came to the bathroom to do something. So it was open, but I usually keep that closed. And then at night when we're sleeping, I'll leave it cracked so that the heat will um, go into there with that other door closed. So when we shower in the morning, this bathroom is decently warm at least instead of coming out into a bathroom that's I don't know, 30 degrees right after you get out of the shower is not fun. So that's usually what we do and enough heat will escape into there to keep it somewhat warm so you're not freezing. And then when I'm not, when it's not, when I'm not sleeping, um, I'll just keep the door completely closed so that the room gets all the heat. And then that's pretty much what I do. And then I get this, I used to have, um, out there on the couch and I would plug it in and while I was sitting there watching TV I would have um, some heat but my little dog the one that's licking himself right now Hunter him <laughs> he needs it more than me so I just keep it plugged in here and then I just turn it on at night and I get up to, go to the bathroom a lot so it's one of those ones you have to like every few hours you have to reset so I usually when I get up in the middle of the night I turn it back on and he's perfectly fine and this guy right here, he doesn't really need anything. So he just sleeps on this and he's fine. 
But yeah, that's pretty much all I do. I really want to get a new heating um, blanket that fits the couch. Then that full size blanket can go out there and just be draped over and be big enough to keep me warm while I'm sitting out there. And then the new one would be big enough for the actual bed and everybody would be happy because it's pretty much impossible to keep a heater out here and have it warm the house, so there's no point in doing that. If some of you are wondering why I don't just put a heater out here, because it really is no point. We've tried, it just escapes up or it goes outside. Um, so I think a bigger heating blanket will help for when I'm out here. Okay, so now that you've kind of seen what I do to stay warm um, and the challenges that I face, I think it's important to realize that like, because some people might think I'm being dramatic, but as you could see, like there's no insul there's a like a little bit of insulation on the wall, but it everything just escapes through the walls and the ceiling and just goes upstairs or outside. And um it's usually only 20 degrees warmer at most um in here than it is outside. So during the winter when it gets down to like 7 or 10 degrees, it's really only about 30 in the house. Um, so it does get really, really cold. It's not so bad. Like right now, today's actually a really warm day. It's about 38 degrees, um, and the sun's out, which makes it feel warmer. It probably feels like 45, actually. Um, and there's no wind, so it, it's it's actually a really warm day. So inside the house, or inside the basement, I'd say it's probably around 40 degrees. Um, on days like this, where it's already kind of warm, it doesn't like warm up 20 degrees warmer. I'd say it's usually max like 40 degrees in the basement and then it can get down to like 30 or I think one time it got down to 20. So um, it is pretty cold down here. It's manageable because at least the bedroom is insulated and it's easier to keep that warm because the walls are actually finished. And so the, the warm, like the warmth from the heaters and everything actually stay in the bedroom which is really nice. So if it gets really, really bad, I could always just go in there underneath the heating blanket with the heater on and, and be comfortable. Um, it's just usually when I want to hang out in the living room. Like, I don't always want to be in bed. You know, it's not as comfortable as, like, sitting in a chair or on a couch. Um, and I do do other activities like film videos or stream on my computer, so I have to be in the living room for that. Um, so it kind of sucks when it's that cold, but the plus side is, is during the summer, um, it's really cool down here. I think it doesn't really get that hot in Colorado. I think the hottest it's been is like 90 and it's only a couple of days. It's usually around 85 um, or cooler. So all the, the, but it is really sunny and that's typically like because we're such, we're so high up in elevation, uh, the sun is more intense here than in normal cities that are less than a thousand feet or even less than 2000 feet. We're about 6,000 feet. So the sun, even though it's not hot in degrees, it really makes you feel hot and, um, and, and so intense because we're so high up in elevation. So the sun actually hits the top of the roof, um, on the upper level of the house. It never actually touches us. So it because it's actually cooler outside and the sun isn't directly hitting us, it keeps the basement cool. And you know, heat rises too. So everything goes up into the main level. So it's actually really easy to be cool down here. Last I've been here for about a year now, so I've gone through a beginning a whole season of summer already, and we never had to even turn on a fan. I do because I like to be kind of cold inside the house. So it's like a comfortable cool temperature, but then when I turn on the fan, I'm like a little chilly. Um and so I kind of like that, especially at night when I'm sleeping. So I turn on the fan, but I don't need to. Like I feel completely fine without it. So that's a plus even though winter's really hard. It's a really easy summer, so I'm appreciative of that because I'm the kind of person that would much rather be cold than hot. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what it's like living in an unfinished basement. We've been here for about a year now. We plan on being here for a little while longer. Um, and then as soon as we have money for our own house, we're going to move. And, you know, that's things like it's hard right now and it's kind of difficult, but... I always just try to think like of the benefits of what we're doing and how much it's helping us save. And even though the conditions are not <laughs> ideal, it definitely is worth it in my opinion because we'll have a house so much quicker than we ever could have if we were living in an apartment paying $2,000 in rent and then a utilities and all this other stuff. So um, if you guys have any more questions about what it's like living in an unfinished basement or in Colorado or whatever questions you may have, leave them in the comments and I'll try to make a video about them. But until next time, guys, bye.